for exercise 2 slash 9, um, we are given these accounts. Um, there were transactions on August 1st, 10th, 12th, 25th, and 31. And the instruction says post the transaction to T account. So T account is basically, why is it called T account? Because it looks like T, right? So there's debit and credit. And for each account, for such, uh, for example, cash, um, there should be account receivable. There should be equipment, and there should be uh, share capital ordinary, and there should be uh, service revenue. Basically, what you're going to do, what you should do uh, when you write a T account, uh, look at your journal and then you see each item such as cash, equipment, AR, service revenue, and there should be no payable and share capital ordinary, right? For each item, you have to write uh, um, everything down. So that I missed out not payable, so not payable all right then <clears throat> let's have cash on the debit side August 1st there was cash um, one moment there was cash 5,000 and August 10 there was cash to 2,700 and there was cash out on August 12 and there was cash in on August 31st. So if we write all those down, then we have August 1st, cash in by 5,000, right? And August 10, we have cash in 2,700. And on August 12, there was cash out 1,500. And then August 31st, there was cash in 850. So if you collect all those together, and if we add all the debit side and add all the credit side, and then find the remainder, there would be balance of 7,050 on the cash, on the debit side. And then let's have a look at the account receivable. Okay, account receivable. I'm going to color it with red, account receivable. Uh, we have August 25th and August 31st. In the journal, it says this account receivable is from the, uh, on this account receivable from 31st is related. Well, it, it doesn't say anything like, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, so, AR. On 25th, 1900 on the debit side, and on the 31st, there should be 850 on the credit side. And you have to write the balance, and the balance should equal 1050. Then let's have a look at equipment. So equipment, 5,000, and that's it. So we write down equipment on 12th, equipment 5,000, and the balance should be 5,000 on the debit side. Then let's have a look at the share capital ordinary. Okay, um, share capital ordinary is here, 5,000 uh, 5, on the credit side. All right, so 5,000 um, on the credit side, and it should balance 5,000 on the credit side. And for service revenue, we have two. Um, one on 25th, right? One on 25th, and um, where is it? Ah, one on the 10th. So, 
There, both are in the credit side, so we write 12,700 on the credit side, 1,900 on the credit side, so you should balance 4,600. Simple, right? And for note payable, we only have one, which is here. And it is on credit side, so we write it in the credit side. The balance should be like this. So this is for your A. And let's write trial balance and see if the numbers match on the debit and the credit side. Okay? So what we do here is we write uh, the company name, which is Roberta. Roberta Mendez um, Investment Whatever and we write trial balance August 31st 2017 so if we write all those items, then it should equal on the debit and the credit side. So we have cash, right? And we have AR. We also had equipment. And we also had note payable. Uh, we had uh, share capital ordinary. And we had service revenue so debit side credit side okay so there were six accounts and let's look have a look at the balance the balance should be your um, ending amount so the balance on the cash here is 7050 right so so we write cash 7050 and then for AR we had 1050 on the debit side so we write 1050 and for equipment we have 5000 on the debit side and for Note payable, we had 3,500 on the credit side. For share capital ordinary, we had 5,000. And for service revenue, we had 4,600. So, if you add all the debit and credit together, it should give our balance and it should equal on the debit and the credit side so when we add all those together it gives us 1000 uh, 13100 on the debit side and the equal amount on the credit side and we have to write uh, we have to do this to show that it is finalized Okay, and that's it for exercise 2 slash 9. So this is how you do your T-account. And with your journal, we write T-account and we write trial balance to see if whether we have, have made a mistake in the journal section. Okay. Uh,